everybody and welcome. It's Carlin from the Real Outdoor Experience. I'm here with Connor today and we're doing our review of the Benjamin NP2 air rifle in 22 caliber. We'll get right back to the review right after this. A new era of American air power is here. More accuracy, more speed, more awesome. Introducing the Benjamin Trail with Nitro Piston 2 technology. The Benjamin Trail Brake Barrel Air Rifle with the all-new Nitro Piston 2 is also equipped with the all-new Enhanced Clean Brake Trigger System. I thought it was a pretty decent trigger once you got used to it. What do you think? Clean, crisp, and I like it. Well, there you have it. Clean, crisp, and he liked it. In the U.S., the Benjamin Trail Rifles also include an integrated sound suppression system that makes the gun even quieter than ever. The 22 caliber Benjamin Trail shoots up to 1,200 feet per second and delivers 26 foot-pounds of energy. That's a ton. It includes a center point 3 by 9 by 32 millimeter scope and it was very easy to mount and sight in. The all-weather synthetic stock features a thumb hole configuration with a rubber recoil pad and you really don't need the recoil pad at all. There was very little recoil, right? Yeah, Connor says so. Yes. The overall weight is 8 pounds, which is a little bit on the heavy side, and the scope is mounted on a Picatinny rail on top of the rifle, which makes it really nice. You can put it on, take it off, and it doesn't lose its accuracy. The primary uses for this gun are varmint hunting, small game hunting, pest control, and target shooting. However, I've seen Eva Shockey take a turkey with one of these. If you're going to do that, though, check your local jurisdictional guidelines and regulations prior to hunting with air rifles. One thing to keep in mind is that the 1200 feet per second puts this rifle into the same class as rimfires, which means that you must have a firearms license to possess one. Once we dialed this thing in, it shot consistently. The BDC, or the Ballistic Drop Compensator, in the center point scope is also a very nice touch and will allow you to dial it in for distances that you shoot or hunt regularly. We had a great day at the range with this gun. It was easy to set up. It was, you know, pretty much out of the box. Put the scope on. The scope and the rings do take a little bit of fiddling. So if you're not familiar with that, you might want to get somebody that is to put it on for you. I bore sighted it uh, just to make sure that I got on paper. And then after that, it was, you know, just fine tuning stuff. So really, really decent. Now it's, uh, we got it right dialed into the circle and we're good to go. We can take a hunting on our next season. What do you think, Connor? I like the thumb hole grip it had because this gun's a little larger than the guns I'm used to shooting with. Mm -hmm. I also liked the little recoil it had, which means I can shoot it all day. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. There was very little recoil. You know, overall, folks, this gun is uh, fantastic. Check one out. It's the Benjamin NP2 Nitro Piston 2 22 caliber brick barrel air rifle. Loved it. Has a great scope on it. And uh, it's going to be our squirrel sniping weapon. So check it out. We'll uh, have to do some squirrel hunting in the fall. And we'll take the Benjamin along with us. Thanks again for the support. We really do appreciate it. I'm going to put up a banner on the uh, screen right now. It's going to be like right, right there on Connor's head. So click on it. It'll say subscribe here. That'll go right to our channel. And then you get all of our latest updates right to your email. Thanks again so much for your support. We really do appreciate it. That's it for Carlin and Connor and the Real Outdoor Experience. And as always, Connor, we are keeping it real. We're keeping it real. That's right. Thanks, folks. Take care for now.